Today in Algebra 1, we learned about the distributive property and like terms. A term is a part of an algebraic expression. For example, in this one right here, we have one, two, three terms. So it has three terms. A term is separated by a plus or a minus sign. So in this case, we have one, two, three. The coefficient, that's our second new vocabulary word for today. The coefficient is the number in front of the variable. So on this one, it would be four. On this one, it would be one. On this one, it would be six. Even though there is no variable, that still can be considered a coefficient. The next thing is the distributive property. Let A, B, and C be numbers or variable expressions. Now, the reason we need the distributive property is when we're doing PEMDAS, we may not be able to combine what's inside of parentheses. In this case, B and C are different variables, so we cannot combine them. So to be able to multiply by A, to get that A in there and simplify a little bit, we're going to multiply each term by A. So A times B is AB plus A times C, which is AC. Let's go ahead and look at some examples. On number one, we have four times three plus seven in parentheses. On this one, we do have like terms, so we can just follow PEMDAS. 3 plus 7 is 10, and 10 times 4 is 40. On number 2, x plus 2 cannot be combined, so we're going to use distributive property. 6 times x is 6x, and 6 times 2 is 12. Notice I carry the plus sign just straight down. Also, if this confused you, 6 times x or 6 times 1x, 6 times 1 is 6, and then I attach the x on the end. Number 3, a times b is ab. And a times 4 is 4a. Remember that it's usually written the coefficient and then the variable. So that's why it's 4a and not a4. Since they don't both have a b, I can't combine those, and that's my final answer. Notice on number 4, we're dealing with a negative sign now and with a term that a parenthesis group that has three terms. So we're distributing the 9 to all three. 9 times x is 9x. 9 times y is 9y and 9 times 5 is 45. And then I just carry my signs down from there. Again, none of these are like terms, so I cannot combine them. On number 5, we're going to distribute the negative 4n. Negative 4 times n is negative 4n, and then negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8. This time I didn't carry down the plus sign because I had a negative 8. Number 6 and 7 I'd like for you to try on your own, but let's go ahead and look at number 8. If I do negative 9 times 3, I get negative 27n. Notice I did negative 9 times 3 and attach the n on the end. And then I do negative 9 times 7, which is negative 63. If you have questions about distributive property, let me know. Let's go ahead and look on the back side of our notes now. On the back, we're talking about like terms. Another new definition for you that you'll want to get on your vocab sheet. Like terms have the same variables raised to the same power, or the same letter with the same exponent. This first group are a set of examples. Because you could add 3x and x. You could add 5xy squared and 11xy squared. Notice I'm saying the same ending. That's what makes them like. In this one, this is a group of non-examples. Because 4x squared and 4x are not the same. This one has a squared, this one does not. In this one, x is squared, and in this one, x is cubed. In this one, there's an x, and in that one, there's not. So if they're different, I cannot combine them. When I combine like terms, or when I'm trying to simplify, I do the distributive property first if there's parentheses, and then I add the coefficients of the like terms. For example, in number one, I have 3x plus 1x. If it'll help, put the one there. That makes a total of 4x. Notice I didn't change the x at all. It doesn't become x squared when I add like terms. It's 3x plus 1x. On number 2, I can combine 6x and 1x for a total of 7x plus 2y. I can't combine the y because those are not the same. On number 3, I can combine n and negative 8n for a total of negative 7n plus 3n squared. On number 4, I've got to distribute first. I've got negative 5 times x, which is negative 5x, negative 5 times y, which is negative 5y, plus 6x. And now I can combine my like terms, which are negative 5x and 6x for a total of x minus 5y. I want you to try those last two on your own. If you have questions, let me know. Also, we learned how to organize our notebook today and got our restroom passes, so be sure to remind me about that tomorrow. Good luck.